Welcome to this year's Engine Week. It's time to learn all about engines in aviation. Hi, I'm Nick Otterbeck, Arian Aircraft. We've been here since uh, 2004. Firewall forward components, radiators, cowlings, engine mounts. This is based on several hundred Corvair powered Zeniths that have flown over the years. Thunderbolt is kind of its own animal for Lycoming. Now it's Continental Titan, that's how they came together. Yeah. And you know, we're looking for service and support dealers currently. This is our 160 horsepower, same family of engine as the 140. All right, so first of all, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. This is kind of a special Thanksgiving uh, video for the Engine Week um, and also the 31 Day Build Challenge. So just want to take a minute here to get you up to speed on where we're at on the uh, Zenith 750 Cruiser, which is what we're building. The uh, fuselage has been on the gear for quite some time. Uh, and since we're talking about engines this, this week, uh, we have the firewall forward kit you see on the ground over here is the upper and lower cowling which is made of fiberglass and a nice gel coat ready to be sanded, primed, and painted. And the very back here we've got the rest of the engine kit. If you want to follow me over here, this is how your, this is how your um, firewall forward kit will arrive in a box, just like this. I'm going to pan down to take a look at that. So you got your engine mount, exhausts, your coolers, um, all, everything, literally everything you need to mount the engine firewall forward, okay? Uh, this, we need to do a little bit of trimming on some trim tabs, and then that will go out to either powder coating or paint, not sure which yet, and then it'll be ready to be mounted. Okay, so the engine mount obviously goes to the front of the airplane, and the area that it's talking about need to be trimmed up is right here at the bottom. These two pieces here, I'm not sure why they come a little bit extended, but they are. So that has to get trimmed up. And then really, really important is these down tubes that come down from the other side of the firewall. And they're, they're really like right here. It's about three or four inches tab. That has to mate up and marry to obviously the, the engine mount in the front. So that's a really crucial uh, alignment there. So that's, that's the uh, engine mount. Hopefully we'll get that going on during this 31 day build challenge. Over here, we've got the wings. It's been going on for a little bit, to be honest. It, we, we were at this stage back in April. Um, my father and I were working really, really hard to get into this stage. The skeleton is pretty much done. We've got the, uh, even the AN hardware has been torqued to spec. And the next thing we're gonna start doing is the sheet metal, which we'd flip it over and um, you, you do the flat areas of the, the sheet metal first. And then you do the fun part of like the D section, which if you guys don't know, I haven't followed this in the past, these are actually scratch built. Everything else you see in the shop is from a kit. Here, everything has been scratch built literally from this raw sheet metal rolled up, flattened out, cut up, and bent into what you see looks like wings now. So yeah. uh, it's gonna be really a challenge and fun to get the, the D section of the, uh, the front area of the wings to be uh, formed and then put on, but we'll be working on that over the 31 day build challenge. So the two main things is to get the engine mount cut, trimmed, drilled, and put in place and have it all painted. And then to get the, the wings skinned. That's, that's my grand scheme idea. Uh, unfortunately, um, dad and I were working really, really diligently on this and he had a heart attack uh, back, uh, it was about April. And we really haven't been back to touch this since. I'm, I'm, I feel bad about it, but at the same time, life gets in the way, and you know when you can get back to it, you get back to it. So that's going to be this month. But other than the wings, it's all boxed up right now. I can't really show you all the bits and pieces. The only thing left, and I've got the the subcomponents made, is to build the flapper ons. You've got uh, like an inner and outer at each section. They're kind of split, which creates washout. But I've got the little ribs and the spar. I think done. Just basically have to create. Uh, the sheet metal over it, which is really easy because it's 016 thin metal. So there's just a, a quick update for you all what's going on. Uh, it's not quite December 1st yet. We got a couple more days, but I need to get in here and obviously clean up the workshop a little bit and get things arranged for uh, go, go, go. I'm probably still gonna have to do one or two travel outs through December, so I'll miss a couple days with you guys. But for the most part, I plan on being right here nearly every day in December getting something done every day and that's one of the most important things and getting momentum going on your project is doing something every day even if it's reading the plans and prepping things for the next day 
to keep you engaged in what's going on so you don't have to spend hours reading through and trying to catch up where you left, left off the last time. So if you're brand new to the channel, brand new to the challenge, welcome. And uh, we are, we're throwing this challenge out to you to get something done on your aircraft every day during the month of December and share it on the Experimental Aircraft Channel group. Uh, it's on Facebook, so just search that on Facebook. It'll pop right up and um, we'll get you into that. And we prefer video if you can you know, use your phone and, and do, not vertical, do horizontal because it's you can see more that way. Do a horizontal shot, give us a tour of your aircraft, even if you want to give us a tour of your shop, any specialty tools that you use and that kind of thing and just to share it with the rest of us. It's, it's neat to see a good cross-section of all kinds of different aircraft being constructed and where they're being constructed. And the point of that, the whole point of this is to be able to see that across the world and be an encouragement to others to get out here and build. Come on, let's do it one more time. Fail. Keep recording, keep recording. All right, ready? Yeah. Right. From my family to yours. Happy Thanksgiving. Am I in frame? Um, just, yeah. Just hold the camera, tilt the camera so I'm in frame. Um, so is the box considered where it's in frame? Firewall forward kit will arrive in a box, just like this. You want to pan down it to take a look at that. They're really like right here, it's about three or four inches tab. That has to mate up and marry to obviously the, the engine mount in the front. If you want to get her in frame on this part, okay? Just for the fun of it. From like, I had to hold it like like this, but I'm going to try to start holding it more out. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Okay. And we prefer video if you can you know, use your phone and, and do, not vertical, do horizontal because it's you can see more that way. Okay. All right, hit the top button on there and that'll stop recording, okay? How long are you finding things? I just want to pop in real quick and invite you all to our 31 day build challenge which starts in December, December 1st through the 31st, which is why the 31 days. Every day is an opportunity to get something done on your aircraft, even if it's something very small like reading plans or setting out something for the next day. The idea is everybody has their end of year New Year's resolution and this is kind of a way to get started very early in December and amongst other builders that are doing the same thing. So I invite you to, to uh, post some, we prefer video, uh, but definitely photos of what you got going on in your hangar or your home workshop or even at your kitchen counter. Share with everybody what you got going on on the Experimental Aircraft Channel group. That's on Facebook, just search Experimental Aircraft Channel and groups that should pop right up and join us for the 31 day build challenge. And also let's take a moment right now to thank our sponsors. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more.